He was always so busy for an 86-year-old doing something with his boat or with his car. But eventually he made time for it. Do, do you want me to leave this on? So, yes. to keep him safe from the pandemic, I parked in his driveway just south of San Francisco, strung a disinfected microphone into his car. Like so? Yeah, but and we talked for hours on the phone. All right, so I'll, I'll roll this up then. We could see each other through our rolled up windows. There's a nice restroom, uh, a woman friendly restroom at uh, um, at Walgreens. I'll just try to hold it in, but if I well, no, it. no, 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 you don't. We don't want any squirming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so, like, um, Sid Walton's year as principal in Sausalito Marin City looms large <coughs> in the history of that seaside town. But it was just one year of his life. And to understand what his project was in that middle school, it helps to go back to where he started. What's the story of you becoming an activist? Oh, uh, well, tell me that story. I was born black, you know, and uh, and there were good black people. <laughs> By the way, get ready for a lot of bleeps. We had to let them know. Sid has a story about what turned him into a teacher. He comes from a family of firefighters. He was a fire chief in the army for a couple of years. And when he came back, he took the test to become a firefighter in a suburb of California. You know those bastards told me? They said that I could not live in the station with the other firefighters because they weren't integrated. I said, you, that's how I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I said, you take this job, you stick it up here. I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to school, I'm gonna get my credentials and every kid I come in contact with, I am going to tell them how racist you were. You know, that, that's my little story <laughs> about why I became a teacher. Sid was the first black teacher in one Bay Area school district. Nice. Then he was the first black counselor at a junior college in Oakland. And he says the guys who told him about that job were none other than the founders of the Black Panther Party. His friends, Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense calls upon the American people in general, and the black people in particular, to take careful note of the racist California legislature. This was around the time the Panthers traveled to the California State Capitol building to make a point about their right to bear arms. And Sid was there too. He says he wasn't a member, just an ally. Racist police agencies throughout the country are intensifying the terror, brutality, murder and of I joined with them and we carried our guns up to Sacramento and we stood down the police that were supposed to be protecting the state capitol. Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? We kept our guns 